Hey everyone. So this is a continuation of the last two tutorials where I'm building this kind of music making machine. And now I need your feedback. So what I've got here, I composed this in about five minutes, mostly with button mashing. And I wanna know if this process works for you and how you think it can be improved. So I'll show you how I did it. Since the last tutorial, I've taken all of these custom instruments and I've edited them a little bit. Uh, drum sounds here are on instruments 0 to 3. Uh, a melody instrument is on 4 and I've got some bass instruments on 05, 06 and 07. So let's uh, open up a new SFX here. Okay, SFX 16. And first step is to fill in SFX with C2. And now I'm gonna use this as uh, like a, a drum SFX. So I've got drums on zero, one, two, three, and I'm just gonna literally wiggle my fingers on, on uh, zero, one, two, and three. And I'm gonna listen back. All right. That's not bad. Now I've got my volume on four, so let me wiggle my fingers on zero and four, mostly prioritizing four, just to create a little bit of space here. There, we have a drum pattern. Okay, let's do another one. So fill in SFX with C2, wiggle my fingers on zero, one, two, and three. And let's wiggle my fingers on zero and four. Okay, uh, let's do one more. Okay, let's put my little kick drum on, on the first row there. Okay, cool. All right, let's do one for like melody. So that's instrument uh, four here. So let's start with uh, C2. Okay, now let's... Um, Wiggle my fingers on O and four. What does this sound like? Okay, so now the melody can act a little bit differently and um, I programmed it in the custom instrument four so that the notes C, G, and F are used. So I might be able to move around the notes a little bit and they'll still be within the right key. So let's try moving this to F, F2, uh, F2, and let's try this one on G. Okay, and now let's make these a little bit longer so that I, we can hear a little bit more of the melodic loop. Okay, that's not bad. All right, let's do another one of these. Uh, volume four. Let's uh, make this row F2, and let's make this row G2, and same thing, wiggle our fingers, mostly on four. Okay, and we'll do one more. And let's uh, wiggle our fingers on C, F, and G, too. That's not going to work as well because the loop isn't being heard. Let's just try, how about F, sorry, G, F, C, F, and more wiggling. All 
Okay, let's do some base. So let's do uh, get our C2 happening. And let's wiggle our fingers on five, six, and seven. Actually, let's make it a little bit more ordered. Let's do five, six, five, seven. Okay, let's do another one. And I'll show you how we can put all these together really quickly. So let's do five, five, six, five. Wiggle fingers on zero and four. Let's make these. Okay, so we've got uh, patterns from 16, 16, 17, and 18 are drum patterns. So now I'm going to, uh, here in pattern view, I'm going to push tab, and I'm going to tap, uh, push this button for SFX. So now, and I'm going to loop this, and I'm going to kind of like insert our melodies like this. And let's put our bass here. Let's see what these sound like. Let's try a different bass pat or drum pattern. So what I could do uh, for a little bit more variation is maybe change the notes here like this. Let's do another bass pattern. Let's, uh, so C2. We'll make this uh, D. And yeah, let's just make the D. And so let's wiggle our fingers. Yeah, so this seems like a kind of an interesting way to test out how all the different drum patterns here and all the different mel melody patterns and the uh, bass patterns kind of interact together. I wonder what would happen if I put another melody pattern here. Not bad, actually. So this is what I'd like to uh, learn from anybody who's watching this is if you have this cart and you're making uh, music this way, is there enough variation for you to play with? Is this a good place to start a music composition? I wouldn't expect anybody to make a full-fledged composition just using this kind of button mashing. You might want to, at some point, go into the instruments themselves and edit them as we did in previous tutorials. Yeah, and, and uh, are there any ways that we can improve this? Like, we only have eight custom instruments, but um, do we need another um, melody instrument? Is there maybe too many drum... Uh, options. We've used, we're using four slots for drums, three for bass, one for melody. Maybe it should be three for drums and two for melody and three for bass. Like, is that the right balance of instruments? 
yeah, how user friendly, how accessible is this process as a means to start your composition? Yeah, so comments are appreciated. Feedback is appreciated. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And hopefully we can put this cart up on the forums fairly soon. Thanks for watching. See ya. Thank you.